We've got another video all about new build houses today. Welcome back to Gosforth Handyman. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend so far. A few weeks ago, I started showing you how new build houses are normally built in the UK. I know most of my viewers aren't actually from the UK, so I thought you might find it interesting to see how things are done over here. And if you are from the UK and you're thinking of buying a new build, well, hopefully you'll find some of the information in these videos useful. So in the last video, we'll look more at the externals and how the structure of a new build is put together from the ground up. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour of a couple of brand new show homes, both from two major different UK house builders. I just thought it would be interesting to show you kind of the internal side of things and how these houses actually look once they're finished. I'm then going to do a separate video where I go over some of the internal features in a bit more detail. I know a lot of you have been asking whether I think new houses or old houses are best. This is a big topic. I'm going to cover it a little bit at the end of this video. The houses I'm going to show you around are both detached properties. One of them is around 250, 300,000 mark, four bedroom detached. The other one's a slightly bigger property, a five bedroom detached house, about 450, 500,000 mark. Don't get me started on house prices in the UK because that's a whole different rant for a whole different video. But let's just go and have a look around and see what you get for your money. Right, let's have a look at this one. Metal clad door, decent quality. Metal cloud on both sides, so it's really nice and secure. Decent door. Nice hallway. Got the alarm control panel. Tiled floors. Again, that's an optional extra though. Nice living room. Decent size. Just got the heat and control panel there. Under stairs cupboard, that's just the electrics and the alarm box in there. Downstairs loo. Let's have a look at the pipework. Oh, I've actually got copper pipework, amazed. That's all right. Separate hot and cold taps, which is unusual in a new build these days, even in the UK. That's really unusual to see that. Okay, looks all right. Kitchen, well, kind of kitchen diner with an L-shaped island. Yeah, it looks nice. Let's have a look at the utility. Nice again. We've got supply for, must have a washer dryer or washing machine at least. Yeah, here's an integrated washer. Granite tops, again, optional extras. Integrated fridge freezer, integrated dishwasher, these are all, again, you pay extra for them, but pretty standard. Pretty poor quality draw boxes, in fact, cheapest of the cheap draw boxes there. Uh, let's have a look under this sink. Well, the plumbing's well, we've, again, we've got copper pipe work for the plumbing, quite impressed. That's all right. Have a look in here. Ah, oh, I've got the boiler. Combi boiler by the looks of it, which is unusual. This is a three-story house. Unusual to see a combi in a three-story. Cupboards, we've not got soft clothes on the drawers or cupboards. Have a spy at the back gardens. Turfed, you pay extra for the turf, but normally you just get a pile of mud when you buy a new build. Again, lighting and all that, That's you wouldn't get lights like that um, when you buy it. All optional extras. Have a spy upstairs. Oh, right. That newel post is cattled. That's from timber that's been left out, getting soaked and wet, and then as it's dried out, that twist, it's got a twist in the newel post, has obviously happened as the wood's dried out. That's a big job to fix that. Not great. And that's the show home. Single bedroom, it's all right, but small. Again, three-story property, so we've got fire doors, 
National Hickman by the looks of it, fire doors, good quality doors, they come as one complete set with the frame and the door kind of pre-fitted. It's got the intumescent seals all the way around. Another kind of single-ish bedroom. And then mm, it looks like a double room, but that's a queen size bed by the looks of it. Juliet balcony. It's all right, but it's not big. Fitted wardrobes, but you pay extra for them. They're optional extras again. Ensuite, single shower. Again, it's all right, proper mixer tap this time. Family bathroom, this time shower over bath. All the tiling, you'll pay extra for that. That's all optional extras, normally. And then up to the top floor. We've got a double bedroom on the top floor here. Nice room, it's all right. Not huge, but it's, it's okay. We've got a cupboard, oh dear. Still using oil-based gloss by the looks of it, since that's turned yellow and it's, the house isn't even sold yet. And ensuite for the master bedroom. Let's have a look at the shower, because this is on the top floor. And look at that, we've got an electric shower. That's because the combi will struggle sending the hot water up to the top floor in a three-storey, so they've had to put an electric shower in. Not great. Here's the cupboard where you would normally have your water tank. So I suppose you've got some extra storage but I'd rather see an invented system. Right let's have a look at this one. Different builder this time. Bigger property, more expensive property. Let's have a spy. Okay we've got a composite front door this time rather than the metal clad. But Again good quality multi-point locking door so we've got locks at the bottom and the middle see the locks there and we've got the lock at the top as well so a nice secure composite door decent size entrance hall we've got kind of a study come office type room downstairs here alarm control panel I have a spine living room Nice size living room, beautiful, nicely done out. Again, everything's optional extras, you wouldn't buy the house like this. Nice size kitchen with an L-shaped island again. Kitchen diner, so we've got a decent size dining table in here. And we've got a separate dining room as well. So you've got the kitchen diner and a separate dining room, that's good size. Landscaped garden, again, you wouldn't normally buy it like that. And that's going through the living room from the dining room. Nicely done. Decent size, beautiful kitchen. Let's have a spy at the boiler, see what they've done in this one. Right, so we've got an ideal logic boiler again, but we've got a proper unvented system in this house. Again, it's a three-storey property, I would expect to see an unvented system. Control panel for the boiler at the bottom there. That's more like it. Nice hob, much better quality draw boxes with soft clothes. Much better quality. Let's check the cupboards. Ah, oh, we've, we've not got soft clothes on. Oh, we've got soft clothes on the little cupboard, but not on the big cupboard. What's going on there? That looks like a snagging problem, that. You would have to bring up something like that in snagging. They've forgot to put the soft close hinges on. Carbon monoxide detector into the utility. We'll look under here at the plumbing again. Copper plumbing. Copper pipe work on the plumbing. Amazed. Washer, dryer, or washer at least. Nice kitchen. Lovely kitchen, really. Integrated dishwasher. Let's have a look at the plumbing. Again, all copper plumbing. I'm quite impressed to be honest. We've got a water filter hidden away at the back there. So it must be a filter tap and we've got a supply for the dishwasher. Main incomer for the water supply. So that's your stopcock. Decent job really. Randomly not soft clothes again. 
granite tops again you pay extra for that I would advise going for granite if you can possibly afford it nice size downstairs loo really big downstairs loo nice bit of a squeaky door but good quality door hardware head upstairs have a spy upstairs right first double bedroom proper double by the looks of it and we've got an ensuite with a double shower as well proper double shower thermostatic shower nice good size ensuite fitted wardrobes but again you pay extra for them they don't come as standard we do have storage for clothes and stuff in there which is okay right let's have a look in here right here's the uh, the gubbins of the heating system so we've got a proper unvented hot water system we've got all the zone valves at the bottom there decent system to be honest 250 litre hot water tank and we've got the expansion vessels at the top that's what I would expect to see for a house of this size nice another double bedroom with its own ensuite with another double shower thermostatic shower again and we're on to the master bedroom now Juliet balcony king size bed by the looks of it good size master bedroom and we've got walk-in wardrobes as well again bear in mind the wardrobes will be optional extra so you'd have to pay extra for that but a good size storage space there uh, and we've got the ensuite for the master bedroom another double shower again thermostatic bar mixer and we've got a bath in this ensuite as well good size ensuite we we'll head up the top floor now have a spy up here oh beautifully done top floor double bedroom bit blingy but nice and this is the ensuite for the top floor we've got a shower over bath again decent lovely beautifully done and we've got another separate kind of bedroom dressing room thing on the top floor as well nice lovely family home to be honest lovely family home good size obviously more expensive than the other house but a whole different class of quality to be honest beautiful hallway and under stairs cupboard we've just got the alarm control panel we've got a fire door again three-story house you'd have to have a fire door on the un under stairs cupboard intumescent seals all round you've got to have that nice nice kitchen and the back door have a look at that another composite door so there you go two lovely brand new family homes there just bear in mind when you see show houses they are dressed to sell the property every single thing you see in it just about is an optional extra so everything from chrome light switches through to appliances in the kitchen you're going to be paying extra for every single one of those things normally so in terms of what i think is best new builds or old houses well for me it's a bit like comparing uh, an old 1960s Ford Mustang with a brand new SUV or people carrier the Mustang is beautiful the SUV is probably more practical. I've owned and fully renovated 100 year old houses and I've also owned and renovated 50 year old houses and I've lived in a lot of brand new new builds as well. I've also done thousands of jobs in old and new houses and believe me I've seen the best and worst of what these properties have to throw at you. For me a house is just bricks and mortar. A home is what you make of that house and it's the memories that build up in that property. All I would say is of all the people I know who have lived in new builds, hardly anyone has ever said that they regret buying a new build and most people who I know who've bought a new build, when they've come to move, they've bought another new build. So I think that kind of speaks volumes. I do think the customer service of some bigger building companies is stuck in the 1970s 
I kid you not, uh, only a couple of years ago, if you logged a call with the major building company that we bought our house off, if you logged a call with head office, they would then notify the site office by fax. I also think the model of houses being built by subcontractors who aren't direct employees of the building company, I think that model is fundamentally flawed and I think it's the reason why the houses, once they're finished, often have 50 to 100 snagging points. Just to draw a parallel, imagine you went out and bought a £300,000 sports car and what that buying experience would probably be like. I mean, I've never bought a £300,000 sports car, but I'm assuming if you did, there wouldn't be 50 to 100 things wrong with it when you purchased it. But for a house, that seems to be perfectly okay for some reason. But I live in a new build at the minute. It's a lovely family home in a great area. And most importantly for me, our kids love it. Our kids love where they are growing up and that just ticks all the boxes for me. That is the most important thing. If my family's happy, I'm happy. So it just so happens at the moment, a new build is the best fit for our personal circumstances. Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the best fit for everyone. I am gonna do a bit more of a detailed pros and cons video of new builds versus old houses at some point. For now, is it perfect? No. Would I buy a new build again? Yes. Would I buy an old house again? Yes. At the end of the day, a hundred year old house has been through a hundred years of fault fixing and snagging. All houses were new once. So it's really all down to personal circumstances. If you're wanting a new, well insulated house that's gonna need probably no major maintenance over the next 20 or 30 years, it's going to come with a 10 year warranty. It's not going to need rewired anytime soon. It should have all the latest plumbing and central heating, hopefully. Then go for a new build. On the other hand, if you want a period property that you can maybe put your own mark on and you can renovate it, bring it up to the latest standards, go for an older property. I really don't think it's as big a deal as some folk make it out to be. Go for the house that you feel comfortable in and you can picture bringing up your family in if it's a family home. Just don't be surprised if you buy a new build if you're going to have a huge snagging list to get through and don't be surprised if you buy an older property if it needs fairly major remedial work such as a rewire or new central heating systems and stuff like that. Post in the comments and let us know what new builds are like in your part of the world. Do you have problems with snagging where you are? Let us know if you've lived in new builds and older houses what you've preferred pop it in the comments below. In the next video in this series, we're gonna have a look at the internals of a new build in a little bit more detail so you know what to look out for. And also, if you live in a different part of the world and you just wanna see how things are done over here, I think it's quite interesting to kind of compare how houses are built across the planet. Once again, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. A massive welcome to you. See you next time. Bye.